welcome back to my channel if you haven't you met before my name is Shiv hello if you're coming back then welcome in today's video I have a huge huge B&M haul I tell you I did some damage I did not think it was even possible to spend that much in B&M unless you're buying actual furniture but here we are I've moved out as you can see I'm in a new environment I hope I'm actually in focus because I had to like really stretch my arm to focus the camera but yeah I'm in my new place now which is super exciting I'm going to be doing a moving vlog I'm going to be doing loads of homeware hauls and things like that so please stay tuned but yeah if you want to see what I got from B&M for moving into a completely new flat by myself then please carry on watching before you do carry on watching please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you you have it already and hit that notification bell so you're there so when I upload a new video I'd really appreciate it and let's just jump straight into the haul. Okay so starting off I thought I would just show you these cushions. <laughs> so I got two of these lovely boho cushions. They're a little bit linty but I just need to run them over with a lint roller but they are just like so cool and this is completely like the kind of like vibe that I'm kind of after decorating the flat which will be kind of like a slow but sure progress if that makes any sense. But I wanted to get some cool cushions for the couch so this is what they look like they were 10 pounds each and they are so cool i really like them and they're nice and comfy as well so i just feel like it kind of decorated this sofa a little bit the sofa that i'm sat on is quite like a plain sofa you can see it's quite squeaky as well <laughs> but yeah i just wanted some cute little cushions to decorate with i'm really happy with these i think it just kind of adds a little bit of spice to my sofa so yeah that is the kind of first thing slash two things i got from bnm i'm literally gonna do this in no particular order i've laid everything out on the floor in front of me and i'm gonna go through it and show you what i got so the next thing i got is a pizza tray <laughs> this was two pounds can't go wrong just need a little pizza tray i didn't actually think of this but my friend went to ikea with me and he pointed out the pizza tray he was like you probably need one of those so good shout mark if you're watching thank you um but yeah, i picked out this little pizza tray if i just want to have some pizza obviously next up i got some towels so i decided to go with all white bedding which is quite risky of course because i fake tan once a week but i just really love the way it looks i think it looks really like clean and like airy so i fe felt like a good idea was to buy white towels as well so like every week i can do like a white wash and try and keep everything really white so yeah i picked up some towels i got a hand towel which was 3.99 this is cotton it's very very soft actually then i also got which is from a different kind of pattern than this one but you can't really tell i got three packs of face cloths i probably won't i won't use this to take off my makeup but i'll use them just to clean my face in general again super super soft 100% Egyptian cotton loop and they were £2.49 and then <laughs> I got a bath towel which was 6 99 which is a really really good price again it's super super soft and I feel like just like white towels just makes you feel like you're in a hotel so I felt like why not and then I got a bath sheet which was 9 99 again it's super soft and it's the same material this is from the retreat luxury Egyptian cotton collection so yeah I'm gonna put that in like a little box or something and make them look all pretty Got some fluffy towels. <laughs> Next up onto something a little bit more boring but very essential. I cannot remember how much these were, but just some bin liners. Actually, they might have been two pounds. Um, I've taken the label off them because I need to put one in my bin, obviously. Um, but just got some, I think they're called refuse sacks. Some bin liners for a big, like, push bin kind of thing. Oh. <laughs> this one's really heavy so then next i got some floor cleaner everything that i've got like from the cleaning point of view from this haul which is mainly why i went to b&m i've gone for more of like the tropical like citrusy kind of smells kind of i think most of the stuff is just because i feel like it will go together nicely and they just smells that i like and i feel like this is my place so i can make it smell how i want to you know but yeah this is the fruity tropics limited edition floor cleaner i'm not going to open it because i know that i'll spill it everywhere but it smells really good super tropical and fruity and my flooring is basically all like wood or um but you can use that floor cleaner on it or um laminate in the bathroom so that will be super handy next i got this febreze fabric refresher this is in the sparkling bloom scent which i feel like will go nicely just to once i finish cleaning everything and done a really nice deep clean i like to spray on like the sofa on my bed on like the dressing gown that kind of thing just to kind of liven the place up a little bit so i pick that up 
can't remember how much that was. But everything from B&M is like super, super cheap. I feel like a lot of cleaning products are like two pounds or less. I'm gonna kind of skip away from cleaning stuff because that's the majority of the haul and just do some little random things quickly. So next up is something that is actually super random. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I think I'm funny. Um, but I got some Mediterranean sea salt because I saw it and I was like, this looks perfect. I actually saw this first, which is the pink Himalayan pink salt. Pink Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. So I just picked this up. I'm not really a massive pepper person on food, but I do like salt um, to like season things. So I picked these up and these are absolutely huge. They're actually really heavy. They do come with a little shaker, so you don't necessarily need to like put them in another twisty salt thing, but yeah, so I got those from my cupboard. Next up, I got a kettle. So if you've been following me for a while, and you are like an OG, I guess. I used to live in a little studio flat years and years ago, and I was obsessed with wanting everything pink, and now my tastes have very much changed. I still love pink, but I just don't want my whole place to look pink, if that makes any sense. So I want to go for all like super neutral colors, whites, beiges, creams, mostly, with any light wood, and then like kind of pops of like green, and like from plants and like color and stuff, but don't mean that if that made any sense. Like basically like boho vibes. No. But I picked up this kettle because I had one on my Amazon basket that kind of looks similar. I saw this and it was actually cheaper, so I feel like I may as well pick this up. This is the Goodman's Glass Kettle Diamond Design. So it's see-through here, and then it has, like, it's all white, and this bit's got, like, a diamond imprint in it. I think this is around, I want to say, like, £24, which is, you know, it's a reasonable price. There's a toaster. You want it to work. You want it to be safe. <laughs> the only thing I will say that I know that I will have to make sure I keep on top of is when you have a see-through kettle because I have one at my old place you can see the lime scale that you're always going to get lime scale on a kettle but you can really really see it on a see-through one so that's just something to bear in mind if you can't be bothered to clean it all the time but yes yeah, so I got a kettle which will be used a lot next I got a toaster which is actually a different brand, but very similar design. So it's the Russell Hobbs Honeycomb White Toaster. Again, I think this was around £25 or think. So yeah, if you're looking for a toaster and you've had a look on Amazon, double check your B&M because chances are they probably have it for like a few pounds cheaper. But it's similar kind of design, so it's got that like embossed kind of print on it, but it's just plain white toaster. It does have silver on it. I'm trying to avoid silver as much as possible. It's just a tiny little bit. What can you do? I don't really mind that. So yeah, got all of my kitchen supplies sorted. Super exciting adult purchase hence why there hasn't really been like a pretty little thing or a primark haul anything like that in a while because i've been saving my money to kind of splurge on house stuff <laughs> but there's going to be lots of hauls so keep watching <laughs> next up i got two lampshades but i have made a mistake because in the lounge slash dining area i guess what you want to call it i forgot that i actually have two lights so i need to go back to b&m to buy one and the b&m that i know that sells these ones is actually a little bit far away, but I need to go back there ASAP, so they're still in stock. So yeah, I picked this lamp up basically, this lamp shade, which I think is really cool. Really, really like this. This is the Isabella shade, it's eight pounds. So I might have to just pop back there at some point to see if they still have this one and pick it up because otherwise I'm gonna have two wonky mismatched lampshades. So yeah, I really like that. And that's for the lounge, it's like wicker design. I'm really into like wicker and like just anything like this at the moment. You'll notice that in a lot of my haul videos. I'm doing an IKEA one and a Primark one as well. So just look out for this because there's a lot of wicker in it. So yeah, I really like this. I think this is really cute and sweet. And I also feel like because it's not a full lampshade where it like covers everything, you're still gonna get a lot of light, which is nice. And then for the bedroom, I picked up this kind of champagne satin light shade. They had a bigger one and a little one. I got the little one and this was only two pounds. It's a special buy, but yeah, so I picked that up for my bedroom. Oh, what a really exciting purchase, which I'm sorry it's not wrapped up to kind of like show you, but it's probably better that isn't wrapped up. So I got this throw, it was £20 um, and it's from the Nash Natural Sanctuary range and it's like a super super thick throw. I don't know if you can see that but on the inside it's like, this like kind of like thermal like heated lining and I actually slept on the floor last night with this and it was so so warm so warm. So yeah it's just super super cosy. The front of it is so so soft like it's like a cloud so I'd highly recommend if you see this it's just wrapped up like a big old square and it's probably like 
a single bed kind of size but that is going to stay on my sofa i think or i might put it on my bed i'm not too sure but i did sleep with it last night and it is super comfy so yeah highly recommend that i'm also going to on the hunt for like a cable knit throw to put on my bed i think that'd look really cute next up is actually something very random because i bought this before i even like started shopping properly and just saw it in a b and and i had to get it and it was like the last one on the, sh the shelf i'm going to take this out one of them out because the box is kind of broken basically i got some pint glasses but they are so cute because i don't know if you can see that if you can't see it i'll insert a close-up for you now because i don't want to defocus my camera and um, but they're basically pint glasses with like an embossed heart which is quite subtle but i really just i just love it but that's my thing just little subtle little hearts everywhere i love it so yeah i picked these glasses up they're five pound for a pack of four they were the last ones on the shelf in a very small bnm so I don't know if they will be everywhere still, but definitely keep an eye out for stuff like this because I just think that is so cute. Like, it's just a little cute detail, but it's super understated. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. Next up, I have a mop. <laughs> um, like I was saying earlier, I needed something to clean the floors with. And I got this anti-back twist and ring mop. It's got a scour pad on it at the bottom, apparently. But I need one that was slightly adjustable. I'm, gonna probably, I'm not going to try and adjust it now because I'll probably end up getting frustrated, but I wanted one that you can kind of make small so I can hide it somewhere. But it's just like a twist one. I actually quite enjoy mopping. It's one of the weird cleaning tasks I actually quite enjoy. I feel like it's quite therapeutic. Like, da -da -da, da -da -da, you know. Um, and then I obviously need the mop bucket, so I got one of these, which was like five pounds. Yep, it was five pounds. This mop bucket, it's not the cutest of colors. I mean, not like what I wanted, but it's a mop bucket, it doesn't actually really matter. Um, I was just being really picky. I was like, why isn't there a plain white one? But um, yeah, so I got that to clean my floors with. So onto the proper cleaning products now. I picked up this bin buddy. So apparently you just like shake some of this in your bin and it stops it from smelling. I don't know if this is gonna be something that I'll repurchase, but it's more just like a novelty for when I first move in. So I was like, it's a little bin, like it's cute in it cute so you just lift like that up to open shake some in your bin and apparently it makes it smell better so it doesn't take away that like gross bin smell but yeah i picked that up i just thought it was really cute is it essential absolutely not but here we are it's in a scent spring blossom next up i got the lenore crease releaser in the scent summer breeze which i have actually remembered smelling this it smells really good yeah, it smells so nice, like super fresh. Obviously, it's kind of going into autumn, but I love the sun of summery smells. And I've never actually tried this before, but I was thinking for my white bed sheets because I don't own iron yet. I don't iron, I can't be bothered to iron. But before I do end up investing in one, I feel like it would be quite nice to like spray it on and just give it a good shake to kind of get the creases out to make my bed look a little bit more fresh. So that is literally what this, this purpose is for, but obviously, quite a big bottle so I can use it for other things. And I actually have seen people use this on like on TikTok and stuff and it does look really fascinating. So yeah, I have this crease releaser. Next up, kind of super boring but essential. I've got some window lean to clean my windows, mirrors, that kind of thing. Next up, I've got some anti-back spray. This is from Mrs. Hinch's kind of range, I guess. Spray wipe hinged. I, if I'm honest, I saw another cleaner and I saw this, it's in a hinge and it's pink so I got it, I have no idea what it smells like because it's completely sealed, but that's clean my surfaces kind of like on a daily. Next, I saw this and thought perfect for again, the white bed sheets. I really wanna make sure they stay white, especially when I fade town once a week. I'm really nervous about that. I might put, oh, I've got white towels. I'll think of something. But I picked up the pink stuff, Oxy Powder Stain Remover for Whites, just to chuck in my wash when I do a white wash. Just hopefully this helps them stay like white. Next up, I got something super essential, which just kind of come out of the packet, but I'm gonna take that off in a second. Just a dishmatic to clean my dishes. It was so funny. So there was actually some dishwasher tablets in this haul. For some reason, I had it in my head that I have a dishwasher in this flat, but I don't. I just have like a sink, and that's absolutely fine by me. But I just for some reason thought I had a dishwasher, so I. I bought dishwashing tablets that I don't need, so I've given them back to my stepmom. <laughs> but I got the dish matic just to obviously clean my dishes, and I just happened to find a pink one, so that made me excited. Little pink things, little pink things. Next, I got some cloths. Do you know, it's actually really hard to find like plain cloths that aren't the microfiber ones. But I just picked up a pack of four the suited assorted microfiber cloths. So we've got one for glass one for all purpose. I just wanted four of the all purpose ones, but I couldn't, 
I can only find this and I thought it was fine, I've got all of them. Dust and polish cloths and they were £2.50. I've forgotten to say like all prices of things but it's been um, everything is very cheap or you can have a look on the website. Next up, not a cleaning product but I saw these near the tail and I thought okay I probably need batteries so I'm just going to get some just to kind of have them in my drawer. So I got some double A batteries and triple A batteries. And then I got the Elbow Grease Scrub Mate, which is pink, it feels like super rough, but apparently when you wet it, it becomes soft and you can just use it to clean things, the oven, stuff like that. And apparently it goes soft in warm water and stiffens in cold water. So I'm actually intrigued to try this out because it looks really scratchy, but I've not used it before, so I don't know if it was any good. I'll let you know. Next up is a very super exciting purchase, which is my toilet brush. It is this stone kind of outer section, which was seven pounds. A little bit pricey for a toilet brush, but I thought this was really nice. Um, and just makes it look less toilet brush-y. You don't have to explain that. I'm not gonna get it out, because you know what a toilet brush looks like. I'm sure you do. Annoyingly, my landlord was too nice and provided me with a toilet brush, so now I have two, but I prefer this one. So I'm gonna put this out and hide the other one. But I got this nice like stone kind of color for the bathroom. Ooh, a bit of decor. So this was one of those purchases where I was like, it's not really needed, I'm gonna spend a fortune anyway. And I just kept thinking about it and thought it was so cute. So I'm not really allowed to drill things into the walls, but there are a few hooks um, already in that I can put some things on. And I saw this and just thought this was really cool. This is five pounds and it's just got a little eye with these tassels, so this little gold kind of print. If it looks like this, if you can see, oh, there you go. And I just thought this was so nice. So I think I'm gonna hang that like above the telly or something like that. I think that was really cute. So I really like that. I couldn't like stop thinking about it. I was like, I'm just gonna buy cleaning products. But I mean, it's one little decor thing. So yeah, I really, really like this. They had such cute sort of like decorations with like eyes and like tassels and things like that. The next up is actually a really funny purchase. Well, it's funny to me. So basically, while I was in the process of like moving out and stuff, I kept like window shopping online and I kept looking at websites. I found some chopping boards on the next website that were heart shaped and I thought they were so cute. They're a pack of three and they're like 35 pounds. Obviously they're very expensive for chopping boards. They come with a little holder. It's like, that is so cute. So I, there from that moment onwards when I saw them, I had it in my head that I have to get a heart shaped chopping board. Like I would not let that idea go. That was just stuck in my head now. And I had a look in b and in like the main section where the chopping boards are and they had one, but it had like a little like embossed like cooking coil or something like that on it, which I just don't like. And then I went to had a very, very quick look at like the discounted section. So definitely check that out and found a heart shaped chopping board that was three pounds, right? Because I don't need three chopping boards. But the fact that I found this one, I was gonna, I was gonna buy the one in next. That was thirty-five. So I got this three pounds bamboo chopping board. That is heart shaped. I'm sorry. You're like, I'm not sorry. Like, how freaking cute is that? Like, just imagine as well. Obviously, I'll use it to chop things on. Of course, that's what it's for. But imagine like a little fruit platter. Stop. Can we talk about this? It's actually probably my favourite purchase from this whole haul, like little haul. I'm just like so obsessed with this and because I had it in my head that I needed a heart shaped chopping board to find one for three pounds, like just randomly, like it was just on its own in the discounted bit. It's fate right here. Like that is the universe, I'm telling you. So I'm getting everything out now because I know after I film this video I can put it all away. <laughs> Next is not a cleaning product, but I saw this and thought, you know what, I'm in B and may as well pick it up. So I picked up some bath salts. These are the West Lab Le West Lab Sleep Natural Bath Salts, Las Lavender, Jasmine, and Valerian. So I picked that up because on Sunday, it is now Friday, but on Sunday I'm gonna have a really nice bubble bath because most of the stuff in the flat should be sorted so I can properly relax. So I picked up some bath salts to have a relaxing bath with. I think these were only like £2.50 or something, so I highly recommend them. And I do actually find they help like my sore muscles and stuff because my posture is appalling, so anything to help with like back pain is like yeah, we'll take it. Next up, I got some toilet cleaner. I got the pink stuff one. I don't know if it's any good, but it said vegan, and obviously I'm not gonna eat it, but you know, it's vegan made, and it's pink, so obviously I'm attracted to that. <laughs> so just got some lovely toilet cleaner. Then I got some pink marigold gloves. Can't go wrong. 
just for like when I'm cleaning the oven and like the toilet and stuff like that. Then I've got two of these really cute storage jars. Annoyingly, they didn't have a third one, but here's my thinking. So they were gonna be my tea, coffee, and sugar jars, but I don't actually drink tea. The only time that I will have tea here, like not for me to consume, but I'll have it here is when I have my friends around. So I'll just buy a really small like pack of tea bags and just put it in the cupboard. But I will have like my coffee and my sugar here in these cute jars and they were really cheap they're only £2.50 so definitely recommend checking them out and I also got some cool like bamboo kind of storage from Ikea so it goes perfectly with that kind of whole like vibe so really really happy with those for my tea and coffee container tea no coffee and sugar containers they are plastic they aren't glass but they feel like pretty good quality. Next up I got a can opener which was £2 just one of the things that I happen to need pick that up opens cans good to go <laughs> there's not really much else to say on that then i got some cotton bells just because i was running out anyway and b&m sell the baby essentials paper stems so if you want to know where these are look in the baby section of b&m and you will find them they're made of paper so they are biodegradable kind of recyclable that kind of thing they're just better for the environment than the plastic ones i'm pretty sure the plastic ones aren't sold anymore but try and buy paper ones if you can next up i got some oven cleaner self-explanatory i'll just hit myself in the head with that and then i got this huge bottle fairy liquid and the scent i got was pink jasmine didn't actually just get it because it was pink but i was attracted to it because of the pinkness so i picked that up for my dishmatic getting to the end now and then i picked up a bottle of fabulosa i do actually have a ton of sephora at home that i'm gonna my other home my old home that i'm gonna bring to my new home still getting used to that but you can never really have enough can you so i picked this up this is in the scent dragonflower so if you don't know how to use this i like to use it by finishing my cleaning with it so once i finish cleaning the bathroom i'll pop a cap full like into the sink or into the toilet and it just makes the place smell nicer for ages you can also use it as a disinfectant so pop it into a bottle with a little bit of water a little bit of this into water to make a spray it's just a multi-purpose product you can literally use it in so many different ways so i picked that up and then finally to finish this huge B&M haul I also picked up the Skinny Syrup White Chocolate Flavour Syrup for my iced coffee how amazing does it look and guess what vegan friendly white chocolate syrup that is vegan friendly I'm so excited about this so again once everything is completely sorted so on Sunday I'm going to have over then in the morning I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna make myself the best iced coffee you've ever seen in your life. I'm gonna put it on my Instagram stories. You would have already seen it, but if you have, let me know if you saw it. I'm gonna make the best iced coffee ever with this on top. And I'm so excited. And they had a few other flavors, but the white chocolate one was just like, I've never seen that as a vegan flavor. So got that and I'm so excited about it. I just realized I also picked up some loo roll. I also picked up some washing powder and fabric conditioner, but that is on like my kitchen counter over there. I can't wait to get up and come here to show you, but I also got that as well. So it's an absolutely ginormous B&M haul. I have hit some serious damage, but as you can tell, like I feel like apart from the little decoration, everything is essential, really. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna use everything. So it's, but I feel like it's good just to get it all done, all out of the way. Don't have to worry about it. I've got all my clean stuff, I'm all set, ready to go. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Now that I'm in my own place, I am free kind of to do a lot more different types of content, a lot more lifestyle, everything like that. I've kind of been banging on about that for a while. I could do more fashion content like at home here, just because it's all white walls and like wooden floors and stuff. So I'm just like really excited to see what the next year of me living here brings. Yeah, it's all a bit surreal. I kind of feel like at the moment, I'm in an Airbnb and not my own place but it will definitely like get there once I start filling it up and decorating and everything like that but yeah it's crazy how things can work out things can feel like they're going wrong and actually they're leading you to something better so yeah that is where I've been at guys and obviously I apologize for the lack of consistency over the past couple months but it's just because this has all been going on and just kind of all happens at once doesn't it but all for good 
reason and yeah i'm really happy to be in my new place i really hope you enjoyed watching this video let me know if there's anything you want to see from me if you didn't make it this far well done and if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're there when i upload a new video follow me on my social media pages i'm at siobhan makeup biz on everything instagram tiktok twitter facebook and i shall see you next time thank you so much for watching bye